Minnesota farmers got a huge shot in the arm today from a country a world away. Taiwan made good on its word to visit the state, and it came with a massive order for agricultural commodities. Please, Governor Mark Dayton and other state leaders were on hand as Taiwan ordered billions of dollars worth of corn, soybeans, and wheat. As Bill Hudson explains, it could help boost sagging prices. All across Minnesota, farmers can smile as warm winds dry some 8 million acres of ripening field corn. But it was news in St. Paul today that added to their optimism. Taiwan, of course, is a long-standing and very important trade partner. A Taiwanese trade delegation signed letters of intent to buy nearly two and a half billion dollars worth of Minnesota corn, soybeans, and wheat, quality that's among the world's best, going to a place that simply can't grow its own. Almost uh, over than ninety-eight percent was uh, depend on import from the outside country. News of the order comes just a week after the U.S. Department of Agriculture said Minnesota farmers will harvest a record corn crop. Unfortunately, it comes as prices have been driven down by inventory and slack demand. Prices are half what they were three years ago. It's a major reason why Minnesota was able to uh, persist through the last recession because of the strength of our agricultural economy and exports are a key element to that. To put it into perspective, farmers will harvest about 1.4 billion bushels this fall. Taiwan will take about 14 percent of that over the next two years. It certainly demonstrates, I think, the quality of product that we have in, here in Minnesota, and certainly uh, we hope others will catch on so that uh, this leads to other opportunities. Now, it appears the news today helped push corn prices in the right direction. It ended up about seven cents on the commodities market. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but on an order of this size, $14 million will be going to Minnesota farmers just on a seven cent rise. Wow, good for them. You bet. Anyone else out there? Any other big buyers? Yeah, there's a couple real big guys. Uh, Japan and Mexico are the two largest. I mean, combined, they uh, account for some 46% of all of our corn, so they buy roughly half of it. Now, I spoke to an egg economist today. They said that the uh, crops around the world look really good, the corn crop. Mm -hmm. So it's unlikely that we'll see more of these really huge orders because there's so much competition out there. Yeah, you mentioned that last week, a ton mm -hmm. of competition. You bet. All right. Thanks, Bill. Sure thing.